I'ma crush it. Call me. Hi, I'm Anthony Walker, full of turkey, and your host of Unsung Art Region's nonprofit online news magazine show. This episode, we come to you from Assemble in Garfield, looking in on their Saturday afternoon as they show kids how to make paper. And it's December 1st, which means the end of November, and that means I can finally shave. Unsung gets local, gets creative, and gets girl power all in one neat wrap package as we came to assemble to talk with its founder, Nina Marie Barbuto. We also learn about the difference between reuse and recycle with the PRC. But first, here's what's happening with our area nonprofits. With the Season for Charitable Giving underway, the Pittsburgh Foundation is offering a new and special way for families and individuals to make a difference in our community. The Foundation has published its latest wish book in time for the holiday season, which is now available to the public and online, featuring requests for help from more than 60 nonprofit organizations in the Pittsburgh region. The wish book features requests for tangible items to support nonprofits in their charitable work, and the only condition is that individual wishes not exceed $2,500 in value. The new holiday edition of the wish book contains requests ranging from bed sheets to an iPad. Wishes can be fulfilled online with a credit card donation via the Secure Pittsburgh Gives platform at pittsburghfoundation.org slash wish underscore book. The minimum credit card donation is $25. Wishes can be partially fulfilled with the organization receiving the amount towards the purchase of their capital need. In previous editions, nearly 85% of wishes have been fully or partially fulfilled. The Pittsburgh Foundation's charitable gift card also offers an inspiring and convenient way to give while helping to support the invaluable work of nonprofit organizations in our community. The cards are available in increments of $25, $50, or $100 to share with family friends, and business associates, and may be purchased using a valid credit card. The program works like any gift card. Recipients of the cards may redeem them with the foundation, directing the charity or the charities to benefit, or the cards may be presented to any nonprofit organization in Western Pennsylvania for them to redeem with the foundation. The card has a one-year expiration, after which the money received for unredeemed cards is used as part of the foundation's community grant-making initiatives. As a purchaser of a gift card, you receive a tax deduction and you will receive an automatic acknowledgement for your tax purposes. To purchase charitable gift cards, please visit givingcard.pittsburghgives.org. Collecting Youth Culture will accompany Andy Warhol 15 Minutes Eternal, a retrospective exhibition of Andy Warhol's art and life that will be traveling through Asia from 2012 through 2014. This international project was developed by the Education Department at the Andy Warhol Museum and the Creative and Performing Arts School in Pittsburgh. In order to collect youth perspectives on being a teenager in today's global society. Using Warhol's book, The Philosophy of Andy Warhol from A to B and Back Again as a starting point, Collecting Youth Culture sets out to gather and collect ideas from youth around the globe on timeless themes like love, beauty, work, time, art, and fame by collecting youth philosophies from Pittsburgh, Singapore, Hong Kong, China, and Japan. This project will provide today's global youth with a forum to address issues they face on a daily basis and to gain a better understanding of issues new and unique from their own experiences. Additional information about the Warhol is available at warhol.org. Now, let's take it to Nina here to tell us more about Assemble. My name is Nina Barbudo, and I am the founder and I run Assemble. It's a community space for arts and technology. I also work for the Science Center and the STEM Center for the girls' programs, the Girls Math and Science Partnership, and I'm the program manager for that. Assemble, as I said, is a community space for arts and technology, and we serve as a platform for artists, makers, and technologists to come and to share their expertise with our neighbors of our community of all demographics. We invite people to come in and to engage in our space through experiential learning, through creative processes of those featured in our space, artists, makers, and technologists, and to also help build confidence through learning. So really using those words empowerment and you know collaboration to their 
fullest. So STEM is, you might have heard a lot of it through different government programs and everything and the big push because a lot of jobs, a lot of money, a lot of investment is going in how we live our lives and what is the technology that we are using and how we use science, technology, engineering and math to improve that. Science, uh, this is, and the way that I like to explain STEM is that science is how we observe our world. So the sciences are like chemistry, physics, um, biology, and even ecology. So you're looking at the world around us, what we see. It might be our bodies, it might be this, it might be that. It's the environment, but you're observing. And then we use math to prove what we have learned. So you can start to do calculations. You can start to say, yes, I know this is going to, if I drop this from this height, gravity is going to set in and this is going to happen. So it's our truth is proven through math. So girls groups that we have worked with at Assemble have been Gwen's Girls. They've been the main group that we've worked with and this past summer and this past year we've been doing STEM programs with them. We've gone and done all sorts of things with them and talking about science where science and STEM topics where it's really attainable to them. So making ice cream, they're making lip gloss or lip balm and really making it fun and not you think about a scientist or like a white lab coat, but something that's fun and hip because science is in every part of our lives every day. So Garfield is a very magical place. Other than physically being a south facing slope, so we get a lot of sunshine, people are really trying to engage the community through having these art openings and doing things with Unblurred, which is the monthly art walk on the first Fridays. So something is always happening every first Friday. And we are continuously trying to engage and have something open, just having something open on different days throughout the week. There's no, there's no dictated thing or concept to this neighborhood, which is really inviting, I think. Let the people say what they want and, and help to encourage them to build the neighborhood that they want to be a part of. There's a new shop down the street that's called That's Smart, That's Sharp, and it's really awesome, and it's these three sisters, and they live in the neighborhood, and, you know, you, it's your neighborhood if you take part in it. So some people need that confidence to do it because it can be really scary, you know, and think about how you can help your neighbor, even if it's marketing. Uh, you can find more information about Assemble at assemblepgh.org. You can also go to our Facebook page, which is Facebook backslash assemblepgh, or follow us on Twitter, assemblepgh. You can also uh, find more information about the girls' programs through the Science Center, and you can just go to their website or braincake.org. PRC environmental education specialist and Reuse Fest facilitator Sarah Alessi O'Shea gives a quick description of the difference between reuse and recycle. Hi, my name is Sarah Alessi O'Shea. I'm an environmental educator with the Pennsylvania Resources Council, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the difference between reuse and recycling. So, reuse is when you have an item that you use and you find a second use for it. So it could be the same use that it was initially used for, or it could be for something new and different. Um, an example is Pennsylvania Resources Council held our Reuse Fest this year, where we had folks bring different materials to our event, and different partner organizations took those materials and either used them for the same thing. For example, Global Links would take crutches, and then they would pass those crutches on to other people who would then use them again. Um, or an organization like the Pittsburgh Center for Creative Reuse might take an item that maybe was once used as a trophy or as a picture frame and they would take it and people might come and purchase it or they might use it in art projects later on. So it just keeps it out of a landfill maybe for an extra certain period of time um, and just allows it to you know, find a second use or second life. Um, so that's reuse. Recycling is a little different. Um, that's taking a material and kind of breaking it down to its raw material. So taking an item, breaking it down to whether it's glass, plastic, metals, and then using that raw material to make a new item. So for instance, we hold hard to recycle events where we might collect 
say an electronic computer screen and that then computer screen is broken down into plastics and glass and metal and all those components and each of those individual pieces are then turned into something new, a new product down the line. So I hope that clears up the difference between reuse and recycling. Thanks. Congratulations to Candle Inc., the Community Action Network for Drug-Free Lifestyle Empowerment, which recently won the 2012 top-rated nonprofit award from great nonprofits based on reviews from volunteers, donors, and clients. For more information, please visit realitytour.org. Also, congratulations to Private Industry Council of Westmoreland and Fayette County Inc., which recently received the 2012 People Do Matter Award in the Learning and Development category. Thanks for watching this episode of Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can check out our previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. A reminder that our 2012 holiday show is up next and we will recap the stories from a great year here at Unsung. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna go build a robot. So I said I'ma crush it Call me the golden boy cause it shine whenever I touch it Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally Actually, the whole hood after me Masterpiece, I out in a pace car Any